This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When you're building an assembly, there will be times when the standard mates will not just cut it. Luckily, there are additional advanced and mechanical mates available that come in handy for times when the standard mate is just not enough. But don't let the name fool you. Just because these mates are labeled as advanced doesn't make them harder to use. To me, they're just additional tools that are necessary for the less than common jobs. So let's start by taking a look at the quote unquote advanced mates. If you click on the section below the standard mates, the advanced mates will be listed. Some of these are not clear as to what they are, but once you really start to use them, they're really not that difficult to use. The first one is the symmetric mate. This is one mate, even though it's advanced, it should be very familiar to you by now, especially since it uses the same basic idea behind a mirrored sketch entity or a symmetric relation in a part. Basically, what it does is it creates a symmetric mate between two faces, edges, or vertexes on two parts within an assembly and use this asymmetry plane, which can be a face of a part or just a reference plane that you've created. So here I got two parts in this assembly, and I'm just going to make these two faces here symmetric about one of the default planes in the assembly. So I actually don't want there. I want to select the box that's entities to mate. I'm going to select both these opposing faces. And in the symmetry plane, Click on the plus here to show the flyout feature manager, and I'm going to select the plane that goes right through. So if I exit this now, look at it from the top, you can see what's going on. So I'll show this plane. See, as I bring the parts together, those two faces that we selected are symmetric to each other. If I rotate the part, the other one rotates along with it. If I move it, same thing. The rest of the faces are not mated in this way. That's why we can have it at different angles or different locations. But the faces themselves, those two that we selected are fine. So we'll delete that symmetry mate. Let's go back and we'll look at the other ones. The width mate is actually my personal favorite mate. I use this one a lot. This is actually one of the ones that really should be moved up into the standard mate because this one really should be a standard. Show that one, what we'll do is I'll hide one of these parts and I have another part here. Go ahead and hide that plane now. So we have this block here and we have this slot in this other block. What the width mate does, you select two faces from each part. The first one is the width and the next one is the tab. So the width will be, we'll select the two opposing faces in this cutout here. And then in the tab, we'll select the two opposing faces on here. And you see what happened there when it just jumped into place. So if we look at it from the side, the part now has an equal amount of distance between both sides. Essentially, this is kind of like having a plane that goes right down the middle of the part on this one and another plane right down the middle here and we made it those two planes up but this makes it a lot easier so if this part changes in size you'll see it still shows the same amount of distance on both sides great thing about this it's not even just for prismatic components so i have a cylinder here and i could do the same thing I can have this cylinder sit right in the middle of these two opposing faces. So go back into advanced mates, width. My width will be the two opposing faces of the cutout, and the tab will just be one face, the cylindrical face. Now I'll look at it from the front again, and you can see how it happened. I can rotate this part, I can move it up and down but it still falls right down the middle, equal distance on both sides. 
Granted, this is just a real basic demonstration, but I'm sure you could see where this can come in real handy later on.